Hey folks, welcome back to Raven Port 22. Here we are, we're in second day of September. And yeah, we're at the ship. We've got our front loader and our build trigger because we'll be picking up our shore bells and selling them. And yeah, at the moment we've got £8,000. I am tempted to sell the bather because I'm just looking at the straw in that. Like how much we're going to be getting, like a couple of grand I think. And yes, I'm not sure if it's worth it because I think what we need is maybe a slightly higher horsepower tractor or at least something with a three point linkage on the front so we can add more weights to the front or more weights to the front. That we'll deal with later on. Also, we've got our purchase the Lizard 6 Ton Spreader. I think this is by 82 Studio. So if we go to our, yeah, the 8, sorry, 6 Ton for our spreader, we've got the slight extension on it so it can hold 9,000 litres, 24 metres working width at 50 miles an hour. And that is filled up with fertilizer. We've got a couple of bags of seed left. Also, I have noticed the dealership has put in some purchasable areas for, I think it's lime, liquid fertilizer, yeah, liquid fertilizer, lime, herbicides, and solid fertilizer. So, and actually, the prices of those is compared to what we'd be purchasing normally base game, it's actually slightly cheaper, but we're only looking at maybe a hundred, two hundred pounds per thousand years cheaper. And yes, we do have contracts for the day to deal with. We've got a fertilizing contract on field eight, a plowing contract on field seven, and a cultivating contract on field six. So we'll get those done. And field 20, where's that? To, that is just south of us, so south to the right. We're looking at this way, sort of that direction, somewhere down there. So yeah, we could look at that. Ignore those two. Uh, potatoes, I'm gonna leave. But yeah, for now, I just want to see how much we get for the stroll. And yeah, as I was prepping this episode, and that I was definitely considering selling the beater. I may still do it. I'm not sure. Actually, if we get these contracts done today, I think I mean, we'll run on times five, so we'll leave on times five. If we go into October, that's fine. But yeah, at the moment, we don't need to plant anything now. The planting window is October. <coughs> October. However, I did mention we want to do grass, so mine is that on the embankment, so you know, we'll get the crop candor up, so yes, yeah, so if we can get grass in today, then we can do winter wheat. Or worst case scenario, we can do winter barley. So yeah, so we, yeah, it's looking at grass, it grows till November, so. Oh, do we, yeah, I think, let's prioritize that. The contracts can wait, because for now we need to sort out our fields, get them prepped and out, so I think they all need ploughing. So it needs lime. Yes, ploughing. Yes, and fertilise. None, so... And yeah, I so need to pay attention to my driving. But actually, I think if we do the fertilise contract first of all, I don't think that's going to take us too long. Maybe upwards to dinner time, but yeah, for now, we need to get this bell sold. I think I've noticed as well is that around the farm we do have some oak trees now, so maybe we can look at that. So we can detach the trailer. And now, how are we going to be able to manage this? So yeah, I've got to be in cab, so in terms of weight management, it's fine, so, so yeah, I think we've got like eight bells to sell. 
so you guys can get that right as close to you as we can. There we go. Quickly pull the strap down. Let's grab the second bell. Actually, you know what I could do? Two at a time. Actually, let's try that a sec, so... Grab this bell. Actually, for the bait in that, or for the bell loading. I will do it outside the cap, because I cannot... Bell... Bell there for my life. We're here in, in cap view. Don't it roll, don't roll. That's why this we're on a hill as well, so let's grab you. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five bells, so yeah, should be able to get all these on. So yeah, that's ten, twenty, twenty five thousand litres we've got, so yeah, maybe it's I'm not sure, so Let's get these bells loaded up a sec, and then we'll go and sell them to see how much profit we can get, and even if it's worth it to keep on doing these bells. Go okay, shut that down. So yeah, let me get these loaded up, and then I'll see you folks in a few moments. And there we go. So yeah, not the best bell sack in, and actually it's. 30,000 litres, not 25, so that is my bed. So, stroll, 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 stroll. Where is the best place to sell you? So, £69 per thousand litres. Nice. And yeah, we got the bell sell point or, yeah, look at that, September tool. Probably think you got too much, so I'm going to set the marker. That is up there, so up that way. So can we go? Actually, we've got four-wheel drive with this thing. Let's go cross country, shall we? Oh no! All right, bad idea. Cross country, all right? Fine. Okay, we won't do cross country. Oh, that was a bad idea. All right, fine. Let's do it this way. Do we have to power? No, we do not. As well, we don't have full drive, so... Fine, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. So, yeah. 30,000 litres, so... What's that going to be? What? Three, three grand, 300 quid. About 2,100 pounds, so... And how much did that beer cost us? I'll say around about 25 grand, was it? 25, well, at the moment it's 24 grand, so... Let's say 25, 26 grand, so... Yes, yeah, so if we're just doing stroll the long term, then... TLDR is... No, it's not worth it. But again, saying that, we can't wrap it, because... As of the day I'm recording this, we've just had a mod drop of... A cheap bell wrapper. So yeah, normally it's 22 grand. We got the 3 point linkage Govel 1 for 16 grand. However, we've got the Lizard Scorpio by Bart Snow V3. And yeah, for 13 grand, I'm not worried about a bell on Enter yet. But yeah, for 13 grand, that is definitely worth it, so I'm going to cut across the train tracks. The train will be coming from that way. Don't get stuck, so yeah, the bell cell point is just over here. So yeah, I guess 2,100 pounds. How close are we to that, or is my mouth off today? Just like with everything in life. Six pound off, so or six pound over, so math was correct. So, all right, it's half past seven, and yeah, we had it on times three, not times five. So yeah, let's head back to the farm, 
And then, yeah, we start prepping the fields. Because, yeah, I want to get the fields, drills. Oh no, do not get stuck on the train tracks. <laughs> yeah, I'm just close, so yeah. We get the fields prepped, so. Need to fertilize, plow, line, and then cultivate and drill because I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, a 9250 combine officer. Give it about 10 or 20 episodes down the road, so we've had the money for that. But at the moment, we do not. So, yeah, this one does not have a direct drill option, so. Let's not go down here, do we? Screw it. We fall. There we go. So yeah, we need to... Oh god. Back in a moment. There we go. Got ourselves self-corrected. So yeah, I think we've got the cultivator and the plough at the farm. So that's the plough. Wait, and cultivator. Yeah, I think the cultivating and drilling itself ain't going to be too bad. I think a lot of it is just going to be just swapping around with the fertilizer now because we've got fertilizer in the tank first of all, so. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, I tend to do that contract first of all, but I do not want to risk not planting the grass now because if we plant the grass now, get that cut in November 2 and then at the same day we will try to think yeah, we will plant the wheat do a winter wheat and this yeah this other crop so if we do a winter wheat that should be ready around late late August or early September depending on the how it grows over the winter periods, because, yeah, I'm not sure, but, because, yes, if you can get that harvested in August, then again, we can plant winter canola or winter barley early. The last thing with FS22 is, when you compare it to Farm Simulator 19, with the seasons by, um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, so one buff, he was it by, DD Mod Passion, the seasons as a mod on FS19. Of course, with Giant Safe took that and implemented it to the base game on FS22. With FS19, you could have had different geos and that, like America, Europe, whatever. But with this, we don't have custom geos. And yeah, so things like crop rotation. I know this is by Celebuhi now, it's perhaps more realistic. Again, I'll have to do my research on that, but... I'm pretty sure... Actually, if it was... Yeah, close to base game, the seasons by Celebuhi, but... Just in general, I wish we had like a mod option for... Oh, uh, you know, just have a like, custom geos and that. Maybe that's, that's something you'll see on FS25-26. Because, yeah, who knows when the next Farm Simulator Souls will come out. I know we've got something at the moment in the uh, Steam DB folder. So, who knows? I actually do need to unload all that. Let's load up two of these. So, yeah. What I'm going to do now is... Just chill back, relax, I'll put some music on, and let's get these fields fertilized, lined, plowed, fertilized, and drilled. So that is five steps. We've got relatively small fields, so it shouldn't take us too long. The longest part is transporting to and from the store to collect the lime mats, but yeah, I'll say it'll take us a couple of hours or so, so yeah, 10 to 8 now. So yeah, by the time it's all done, it's going to be around dinner time, I think, so yeah. Let me get us all done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
right, there we go. So it is 20 or 19 minutes till 4. And yeah, so we got all of the. Apart from the drilling, we've got the ploughing, cultivating, double application of fertilizer. Got all three fields lined. And yeah, that took us to what? About 10 o'clock or so? And yep, yeah, last five hours and that just been spent in doing the cultivating and the plan contract so so by the time we've done the drill now I thought yeah actually you know what we've got a bit of time stop trying to go in turn right here and turn left so yeah I thought heck it get a couple of these contracts done I'm gonna save the fertilizer one for last because yeah doing all that drilling I'm not drilling I'm doing all that spraying now or spreading Actually, the spreader we've got, the six ton fertilizer spreader, I think it's by A2 Studio. I will leave a description down below, the comment section, another comment section, in the description of the video of all the mods I'm using on this series. So you have a six ton pack. So yeah, actually, our fuel is low. How much fuel have we got left? Only three liters. So that means we need to head to the store. So actually heading down this way is probably not the best. Actually, can we go this way? Not sure what way we're going, but we're going this way. Ooh, train. Oh, that scared me a little bit. Oh, this is a. Oh, oops, we're in Sloan's back garden. I was like, where does this lead to? I swear I haven't used this on FS19, but yeah. Just popping up Sloan's back garden, and yeah, I didn't mean to toggle the map now, so. I was like, keep on going here now, for the shop is just ahead somewhere. The shop is somewhere over there, and to get used to all the back roads. Just please do not run out of fuel. Nobody for that stop sign, but yeah, I just cannot afford to run out of fuel. I also might just go down a touch. I spent two grand on the extensions for the plow. So you've still got three these for staff or two a bit, maybe. Let's go ahead and fill up. Actually, you know what? Let's put the plow down a sec. So yeah, two grand was spent on the extension for the plow. Just get the contract done a bit faster and as long as it was worth it, so 171 pounds for 137 litres of fuel. Dollars, should I say, because we're in America. So yeah, fuel prices ain't too bad. Could be better, could be worse, so I think now we're approaching in the day, so I'm thinking just be on the safe side. Let's quickly do the drilling, so it's a drill up yeah, the drill's up here, so just look in ahead. But yeah, as I say about spreading that, like I thought yeah gonna need a lot of lime, a lot of fertilizer and that. But actually Mine's a cold vein there, actually smash into that. Yeah, actually, it turned out to be very good. We'll wheel in. Yeah, we need to get the front weight for this, and that's why I'm all about with the getting a new tractor now. Something in general is heavier, also at the same time find a trigger. Yeah, let's try to find something that's a bit heavier because actually how heavy is this tractor? 6.8 tons and the one I've got my eye on is one of the Deutz far so yes this one here weighs 10 tons starting price 120 grand for 228 horsepower 
or for another three grand to go up to 247. And we can have white wheel weights and all that other good stuff. Thinking for the white tires and weights. Beacons, yes. Let's build with as small as we can. Front loader, yes. Yeah. So, all in all, 120 grand. But in fairness, I may have to look at another tractor in that. Whilst we're here, going to service it. Yeah, I may need a interim tractor in the between. Something a bit heavier than this, slightly more powerful, around 200 horsepower. And yeah, we can find some for around 30 to 50 grand. But yeah, I sort of keep on using the same equipment over and over again. But yeah, anyways, I'm not waffling on. Let's quickly get. Ignore this. Let's head back to the farm. And then, yeah, start drilling the grass. And there we go, back out of the farm. And yeah, a few little adventures with this. Just a bit like Swedian now, like, as soon as you go over a bump and that, I just love Swedian. Like in that episode, with the power struggles and that. But once it's unfolded and lowered, it's fine, so. And I know for a fact we're not going to be using too much seed here, so. Yes, yeah, do first pass. And what's that? About 13 litres of seed? 10, 13? I'll say about 11 litres of seed there, so. Overall, not too bad. Go. Don't crash into our Honda, please. Ooh, a little kiss on the Honda there. But uh, yeah, that's the thing. Once we're rocking and rolling, this cedar drill is an absolute beaut. Yeah, it's like. Like, see her and turn right, turn left, turn left, turn left. And it just. Yeah, loves to weed in that, so... I should want to stick it to outside the cab, so... Yeah, this shouldn't take us too long, maybe a couple of minutes. And then I think to run off the episodes, we'll start doing that first contract, because... I am interested in that contract to see how long it will take what the profit margins are because yeah we spent what nine grand or so on the was it fertilizer so should be worth it but it's one of those things you never know until you get to the contracts do the contract and then go from there Alright, that was a bit more difficult than I would have hoped. And yeah, again, just going around. Because I think I've missed a couple of little bits. But again, on the PDA, it may look big. But in reality, the map is absolutely small. But these are 
small fields we've got, so to maximize the amount of profit we can. Ooh, so I think what we'll do, round off today. Let's go and have a little look at that fertilizer spreader in action. Because yeah, I think that's gonna be a huge money saver for us. I mean in terms of profits and that. In terms of like I've used cedars and spreaders and that in the past. Or use like where cedars using fertilizer or just drills or sprayers and that. These are actually yeah, like for those three fields, we've only used what 45 liters. So yeah, I thought oh yeah, we need a full load in that, but it turns out we didn't. So not too shabby. But these are small. In comparison to field eight. But yeah, we're getting good money for it. I think was it 36 grand? 29 grand, sorry. Wait a minute, is that correct? Yeah, 26 grand, sorry, I was just looking at uh, some settings and next they toggled the economy difficulty. Haven't saw anything with easy economy in that, but yeah, actually whacked on easy during the time lapse and that, or in between the time lapses, so just looking at some settings. So yeah, did accept a contract for field 18. I mean, I'm thinking a quick contract, get a quick buck in. Yeah, it's only paying 1300 quid, but a thousand pounds is the difference between getting our dream tractor and not getting our dream tractors of choice, so every little help, so that will be done tomorrow. Long as we can harvest the was it wheat or sorghum. Oops. Sorghum. Let's just stop your sex, so sorghum. Oh no, we need to do that today, so that may be a thing you want to do off camera during the night. Ooh, I did not realise it was that late. But anyway, so let's get this loaded up and then we'll head to field 8. And yeah, just to see how effective this is. Because yeah, I think it's quite effective, especially, yeah. If you're using for spreaders and that with other equipment and that, like other mods and that, you know these tend to use quite quickly, especially with the lime itself. But yeah, so anyways, I'm off and on again. Let's just quickly get it loaded up and then head to field eight. And there we go, five minutes past five. So let's go ahead and have a look at this because. When we did our field, I underestimated the working bit for this. But yeah, it's like, we must have gotten these spreader extensions on this, because you can't get extensions now, like... Again, it's like hard to judge now, see, because of the lighting, but... Yeah, I think that's pretty much smack bang on the middle. And yeah, it's just kind of that rate going down, like... 44, 43, 42, and yeah, just show it. So, this we find under tools and fertilizer spreaders. So, yeah, we got the extension. Yeah, one of these extensions. I think we had a cover option, but. Ah, yeah, so with the extension pay an extra 10 grand for that and we can do this at 24 meters so we have barely used a, a percentage yet and we've done 10% of that contract like any other spur system I swear ain't me because it's me being delusional or anything I swear with other spurs now I've used yeah, it's definitely a lot less efficient, but with this, it's working like an absolute treat, so, yeah, you know what, this ain't going to take us too long, and yeah, 
just the mind boggles with this. The mind generally absolutely boggles, so let's get the rest of this done. And this, yeah, generally won't take us too long. So, yeah, be a little quick 30 second time lapse or so. And then, that's where I think we'll leave it for today. And there we go, so yeah, that was a short time lapse and we're just about done, so, and yeah, we've only used, in total, just over 200 litres of fertiliser to fertilise this entire field. Only 200 litres of fertiliser. And also with this, yeah, it's my A2 Studio. 6 ton fertilizer spreader. So, yeah, default is 6,000 litres. The extension is 9,000 litres. And there is a unrealistic version of 25,000 litres. And, yep, yeah, as I've already mentioned in this series, we're going to be using unrealistic, stupid, high speed equipment or ridiculous work with. Just going to be sticking to. Simple, adequate mods and that, and yeah, just fascinated by that sunset light. The trees were in autumn, some trees are just starting to lose their leaves, some trees are changing colours, and yeah, I think that is a not only a beautiful way to end the day, but a beautiful way to end the episode. And I'm not going to go this way because. Why not end in someone's field again? So yeah, I think, you know what? Let's quickly end the episode with getting that harvesting done, shall we? So, bear with me a sec. And yeah, a little bit of quick cheeky contract work. So yeah, let's go and complete that contract. So we're on 56 and a half grand. And yeah, we should be getting one thousand for each pound off this contract, plus maybe six hundred quid that in terms with extra cropping at five six hundred pounds. So yeah, two grand. So fifty eight and a half grand or no? That is a nice little cushion. That maybe we start looking at new fields. That new fields, new land. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure yet. But I think next time... Actually, I don't know what to do next time. Like, I think a lot of it is thinking about expansion now. Like, perhaps... Yeah, new fields or new tractors. Maybe do a bit of vlogging and that. But yeah, generally I don't know. It's going to be about a two-day gap so between this episode and the next episode comes out. This should come out... Friday evening, so next episode out will be out Sunday evening or Monday morning. But yeah, so anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, fill the down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be for our Epoch stream, and I'll see you all very soon.